Hello there once again, people. Zorkin86 here with another episode of Nekopara. Uh, last episode... What happened last episode? I think, uh, we were gypped in a bath scene. As in, it didn't happen, and I'm sad. But, um, some stuff was going on, some arguing about them leaving, and then we got some deliveries of doodle bobs, and then I was all like, shit, there's too many things. Then I had the Nekos... Freaking help me out, and that was super cool, and then all of a sudden things and stuff, and now we're here. So yeah, I guess a better recap will probably just to watch the previous episode, but yeah. Anywho, we were contemplating on this hard-to-understandness of humans, so yeah. Inside the bakery, now devoid of anyone but myself, I repeated those words she had just said to me. Now that I think about it, it's a pretty inconsistent way of thinking, isn't it? Cat girls do not understand that. Having heard that said aloud, I began to understand what it really meant. It must be pretty nice to live simple, live the simple life of a cat girl, huh? Eh? In the sudden quietness of the bakery, I closed my eyes. I shook off the bitter smile of my face as I began to clean up the tea sets that had arrived earlier. Yes, cause all that shit is. And piss. Balls. Oh! Yeah, I broke Master's cup. Let's just say the cup broke by itself, yes. It was a uh, friggin' paranormal activityness of of uh, things. I guess not. It's just like going to the swap meet, and sometimes the the friggin' seller people guy dudes aren't really there all the time and stuff. Just like yesterday, we took a walk through the park in the evening. However, that food stand was nowhere to be found. It just so happened that no one was home on the day I decided to take the two cat girls home. Convenient. I had also happened to leave the house key behind. So to make good use of time, I went to do some shopping before Shigure got home. <laughs> What'd you do? Bumping her? Catnip? Nomness. Catnip about what? That isn't the right word at all. Chocola, if you're tired, why don't we rest a bit? Okay. Really? Right off the bat. How about this? Doodle bat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, super niceness. Alright, keep going. Blah 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 blee blue blah. There's no need for you to apologize. She had a troubled smile on her face as she nodded. It was pretty clear why she wasn't in good spirits. That's why there was nothing I could really say to her. Well, there happens to be a bench over there. Just want her to rest a bit. Ready? Uh, okay. Uh, wait, where did you take? You take my money? Ah, oh, thanks. Something for everyone, okay? Just kidding. I'm gonna buy a shit ton of things, and it's only gonna be for vanilla chocola. I had a vanilla some change. Okay, there you go. And offer, and offer the vanilla chocola. CG? Yeah, CG. What the fuck is wrong with you? The constant sea breeze rustled the trees in the park. All that could be heard throughout the empty park were the quiet sounds of nature. I silently sat down next to the disheartened Chokla. Like the gently setting sun, time passed by slowly. Are you sure about that? Why? What's up? Her voice was so quiet that I wasn't quite sure if I had heard her or not. I wonder if you guys heard her, because I don't know how the audio is still doing, but still. Even so, she answered clearly. Without saying a word, I responded by gently rubbing Chokla's head. Oh, okay. She's still contemplating. She's still thinking about... Uh, leaving her master's side. Yeah, I'll still. Yes. Yeah. Everything is super cool. <laughs> yes, I will in every way. I will think of you lovingly and also lewdly. Yes. Her voice trembled as she frantically wiped away her tears. She stifled her sobbing and her voice became strained. She looked pained as she did her best to hold back her emotions, biting her lips. I held back my irresponsible words that were on the brink of coming out with all my strength. Irresponsible words, what? Yeah, of course I will. I don't have a little pet button. Son of a bitch. 
This ain't your fault, man! It's just Cashew's being a butt cheek. I was frustrated at myself for saying nothing. I felt empty. I could only offer condolence that could not be put into words. I rubbed Chocolate's head as gently as I could. Aren't I? Yes, I am kind, but not kind enough to let you guys stay in my fucking house! I don't really think I'm kind at all. As you can see, I'm shitting all over you. And it's gonna be, huh? When was last time? Before? Choco closed her eyes and smiled. When you guys were just kittens? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, but if we don't, there's probably gonna be a little flashback thing with the jigger. Ah, uh, of course I remember that. You can also see the OVA for that shit, too. It was a cold day. Half a year ago! Half a year, so six months! Sweet Jesus. Chuckle and Valina blah, 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 were huddled together, crying by the side of the road. They were still so young. They couldn't even speak. Dude. Okay. It was that day that I embraced their small, cold bodies and took them home with us. There was no way I could simply forget that important day when our family grew bigger. Bigger. In the beginning, you two really couldn't get used to things at home. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure, man. Getting to go to new places is pretty scary, especially since you don't know anyone. You two wouldn't need it all, which really worried Shigure. I started to hear a tiny bit of laughter in a voice as we reminisced about the past. You're just gonna make me remember all these stuff, and me being all cute, and all like, yeah, and then you're gonna make me feel like shit for kicking you guys out. <sighs> I definitely do remember that. Flashback! Look at that. It was a few days after we brought chocolate and vanilla home. At that point, they'd only occasionally drink some water. And as always, they didn't really touch their food. <coughs> Can't burp. The combination of malnourishment and cold weather had really begun to weaken their bodies. They both developed high fevers and were in pain. Pretty sure, especially being abandoned in the middle of the street and the rain, according to the OVA. God damn it! And then we rescued your asses! It's alright. I'm with you two. So don't worry. Yes, gigantic. Gargantuan hands. Well, yeah, no shit. Yes, exactly. And now we're here. In the present. Huh. <laughs> I almost forgot. That shit be true. I'm pretty sure there are people out there that are all like, Man, if you hadn't saved me, or if you had like, in any regard, whether it's like actual saving, like, I saved you from a fire, or, hey, I saved you from depression, or, hey, I saved you from all this other cool stuff, we, we wouldn't be here now and things, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm pretty sure, I just can't put words. And that's true, it's a good story. Yes. And for that, I am forever grateful to you, Coast Jin Sama. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, thank you. I wish that our tear filled eyes would not spill over. Those tears were filled with anxiety, sadness, 
and happiness. She smiled all she could before me. Yeah, when you put it that way, it's pretty... pretty devastating. Oh yeah, man. Please, send us in boxes. So th she said that with the faintest of smiles, one that seemed as if it would disappear at any moment. Those words were so gentle and warm, but there was also an undeniable sadness and emptiness mixed in with them. Chokla. I was the one she was saying all this to. Even so, the only thing I could say back to her was her name. Yeah, the same thing with real cats. You know... You don't understand shit. You just be happy and do things. Take her in, goddammit! Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Scritch. Exactly, and there'll be a montage going on with her she can fuck shit up and then doing better, and then it'll be like, yeah, and it's gonna be like that montage from both South Park and Team America. What is that one more favor? Kiss! Okay. Well, still. Chocola voiced her feelings clearly once again, and barely kept her tears from overflowing. Of course, Chocola. If you could be with me, I was engulfed by my inner thoughts, which were ready to overflow. She yearned for me so earnestly. For her to so innocently believe in me, there should be no reason for me to be against it. And that day, Chocolate and Vanilla became an important part of my family. As long as they were with me, the days would be bright and enjoyable. I was simply selfish for just leaving home like that. I didn't want to get my dear family wrapped up in my selfishness or have them experience any unnecessary hardship because of me. You two are important to me, after all. Yes, of course. Also, how long have you been there? Eavesdropping in all our shit. My inner conflict was disrupted by Vanilla. Vanilla had returned at some point, and she looked straight at me with... straight at me as she sat by Chocola. That's always good. See, man, that's love and dedication. Yeah? Yeah, that is true, man. Vanilla. Yep, that is true, and it kind of sucks, especially with like friends or whatever, when they're like super far away and they're dealing with shit, and you want to help, but you can't, and it's stupid. Yep. Her smile was gentle like the setting sun. It was a warm and soft smile. These uncharacteristic words from Vanilla deeply penetrated and seeped into my heart. Because both of you love your Kosujitsama! See that? See that, Cashew? Cashew? There was not even the faintest bit of hesitation. There were such honest and absolutely straightforward words. Who am I to dictate Chocolate and Vanilla's happiness? There were no other thoughts in my mind, except for those words that continue to strongly resonate in me.
Yeah, because friggin' that's the thing that makes every day super cool. That is love! And then she smiled with tears in her eyes. It was a bright and honest smile. They were nothing but absolutely pure, genuine words. Humans really are at a loss for words when it comes to cat girls, huh? Saying no to their words was not something I could bring myself to do. Yes! It won't be like it was back at home. You can't just live here however you like. Got it? Those are my rules! Yes! Yes, super happy days! Uh, yes! I have surrendered. Uh, yeah, yeah. The dreary moment seemed to be blown away, bleh, away by her dazzling smile. Despite all this talk about family, perhaps I was the one that didn't really believe in it. Thinking about all this from their perspective, it was very simple, and here I thought they were acting immaturely. Perhaps cat girls were more human than humans were when it came to honesty. From here on out, we need to do our best all together. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? You say that. People say things, and then they're like, shit. I want this. <laughs> Fanny meat is the best. Then it'll go down to your thighs. But then again, it might also, uh, is that what you all have been eating at home? Even if the road ahead of us is uncertain, I lovingly rub their heads, disheveling their hair. hair. Alright, why don't we head back to the shopping district then? I guess not, if we're going back. We have to go buy that shampoo you two like to- ah, yes! Now I can clean my name! And they'll be all like, hey, it's that asshole. And then I'll be all like, here, see this? These are my witnesses. I'm getting their hair gel. See? I'm not an asshole. Uh, okay, well, today's a celebration, so why not? Yay! Yeah, it's always pretty neat. Whenever I have cash and stuff and things and want to treat the people I love, I will, because it's cool. Just for today, okay? This is the beginning to a bright new life. And together with a happy and high spirit of chocolate and vanilla, we took the first steps towards it. End of chapter? Neko we're oh, it's the own intro now. Uh hmm. Will this be alright to show? I have no idea. It's running at 60 FPS on my thing of a jigger, but it's probably not on uh on the recording, but still. Haha, -ha, I'm just gonna talk over things. Just in case, you know, friggin' for any reason the opening theme is being all copyrighted and stuff. Look at that, they're all Neko mates. Haha, <laughs> hee hoo, look, ears, face. It's super cool. Look, Choco. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, we're getting sneak peeks into a uh, future thing. I'm gonna get the big bobbers. Also, haha, -ha, we also get to. Oh, that actually. What? Was that a boiga with waffles as the boins and, and top with friggin'. Uh, top with friggin'. Uh, why am I drawing a blank? I'm being dumb! Cinnamon! She's the most, um, uh, she's the most aroused of the Nekos. It's kind of funny, because like I said, this is an E-rated game, but even if you go into the, uh, little character bio thing of a it even, it even says that she's a horny little son of a douchebag who gets turned on by everything. But yeah. <laughs> it's still an E-game! Yet everyone that's played Neko Par knows that by friggin' see that man? Yeah, it's super cute. But we all know all the dirtiness that goes on in the uncut version. Welcome to La Soleil. Pretty much, man. Cashew gets to friggin' mark his territory with all the girls, all the Neko girls, by the third volume. 
Man, that son of a douchebag. Hey. Trophy earned. Opening. Haha, <laughs> 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 it's the beginning of a new day, but for right now, I'm gonna end the episode right here, so... Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I still can't burp. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh... Still haven't really done anything with the, the annotations to go forward and back an episode. Actually, I don't even think in today's world that really does anything. Maybe it does? I don't know. I still have to do something about that. But yeah, until then, this is Dorkin86 signing off.